guys. In my last video, I showed you how I got this voluminous wash and go that I absolutely loved. But I had to do a lot of fluffing and picking to get this look, y'all. And that's not unusual for me because I do have fine hair. But while I was going through the steps to get this wash and go, something about my hair just felt different. And I think I know what it is. I got heat damage, y'all. Can you believe it? So, this all started about two months ago when I decided to take a trip to New York to visit my dad for Thanksgiving. I wanted to do something different with my hair, so I straightened it. And I don't straighten my hair too often, but when I do, I usually don't have any problems and my curls just revert back. Now fast forward to December, I washed my hair and I noticed that I've been having a lot more shedding than usual. So I decided to go in with Afoji Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer, which is excellent for shedding. Now I'm thinking the shedding is possibly due to this medication my doctor recently had me stop taking that I had been taking for years. And I'm thinking this because as I was doing this wash and go, once I applied the gel, I noticed I still had some curl definition. But it just felt different, y'all. My curls felt thinner, if that makes sense. And here's what the back looked like before I sat under the dryer. You can see there are some thin spots there. But once it dried, you can clearly see I had curls. But my hair felt so thin. And even though in certain places of my hair I have looser curls, they felt more loose than usual. So I started picking and fluffing, and this is the result. And it looked really cute, right? But I still could feel a difference. So I started looking at video clips of my hair before I straightened it in November. Here are some clips of me doing a wash and go back in October of 2023. Even though my hair is fine, it still looked fuller. Now this is when my hair was still wet before I went under the dryer. And here it is dry before I did any fluffing. I had more hair, y'all, and my curls were not as loose. And here are my results after I did a little bit of stretching and fluffing. Now, if you still don't notice a difference, check this out. Can you tell the difference now? My curls are looser on the right, and my hair is thinner on the right. That's damage, y'all, and it's frustrating, but I've been here before, and I know with the right products and lots of care and patience, my hair will bounce back. So let's get started. Okay, I'm starting off on dry hair that I have put into four sections. I like to start in the back, and I take that first back section and split it in half. And this, y'all, is the first product I'm going to be using that will hopefully get me started on the road to recovery. This is the Olaplex Number no. Zero Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. Now I know there's been some controversy surrounding Olaplex, but listen, it helped my hair once before, matter of fact, twice before. So I'm praying it'll do it again. Now I've seen some videos where people have said Olaplex did absolutely nothing for their hair and that may be because they had too much product buildup. Or some people have said that Olaplex has ruined their hair and that may be because they did not follow the directions properly. Olaplex number no. 0 is an intensive bond building hair treatment that primes your hair for deeper repair it rebuilds hair bonds, strengthens, and protects hair integrity. You're supposed to use it as the first step in a two-part system with number three hair perfecter. The directions say to apply slowly to dry hair, distributing evenly from root to tip. Hair should be damp, not drenched, and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And don't rinse. Now here's a tip that helps me get the most benefits from this product. 
I actually prep my hair the night before. And let me tell you why. I usually wash my hair once a week. And then I use several products when I style my hair so I can get that style to last throughout the week. So since I use a lot of products, I have product buildup by the end of that week. And too much product buildup is not going to allow this treatment to penetrate the hair like it should. Okay, y'all please ignore that yellow clip in the background. My curtain panels kept coming apart, so I used that hair clip to keep them together. And now it's sticking out like a sore thumb, and it's driving me crazy. But there was no way I was doing this video over, so it is what it is. But anyway, like I was saying, I prep my hair the night before, and I do that by using a clarifying shampoo, and I just shampoo it one time to get rid of most of the buildup. Your hair doesn't have to be squeaky clean, but you should remove most of that buildup so when you do apply the treatment, it will be able to penetrate the hair strand and work its magic. And after I shampoo, I rinse and detangle under running water, towel dry for about 15 minutes, and then put my hair into four twists and let it air dry. So that's the prep. Now when I actually apply this treatment, as you see, I use a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute the product throughout my hair. And it also helps to keep my hair detangled. And applying it to small detangled sections also keeps my hair from getting tangled and matted up. Because remember, this treatment helps to bond the hair. So after I finish applying number zero, I let it sit for 10 minutes and I don't rinse it out. And then I'm ready for step two, which is Olaplex number three, Hair Perfector. The Hair Perfector is infused with patented Olaplex bond building technology and is a pre-shampoo treatment that is proven to repair and strengthen hair from the inside out. Use the number three Hair Perfector alone or paired with Olaplex number zero for maximum at home repair. So here I am applying the number three hair perfector on top of Olaplex number zero intensive bomb building hair treatment. And I'm applying a generous amount from roots to end until hair is thoroughly saturated. Now this pre-shampoo treatment can be used once per week or for more damaged hair two to three times per week. I'm going to be using it once per week. You know why? This stuff ain't cheap. It's $30, $30. And that's just for 3.3 fluid ounces. But the good news is a little goes a long way. And most importantly, it works. So to me, it's worth the investment. But yeah, we're just gonna be using it once per week. So after you apply it to your hair, you're supposed to leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes or longer if desired. I'm going to put a cap on my head and leave it on for 20 minutes. And y'all, I swear I can feel a difference in my hair already. Now they say it's best to shampoo with Olaplex number four in condition with Olaplex number five, but I didn't buy those two because it's $30. And we still fresh off Christmas, so a sister gotta replenish her coins. So I'm gonna shampoo and deep condition with these two right here, and then I'll be back. And I'm back. I can tell that my hair definitely did some bonding, and it feels very soft and moisturized. And now it's time to style. So first I apply my two leave-ins. And for this wash and go, this is the first leave-in I'm using. And for my second leave-in, you already know, the one and only. 
this Camille Rose Honey Hydrate will always be one of my holy grails. And to dress these curls, I'm going in with my favorite product from the Dew, the B Girl Honey Curl Custard Baby. Now let's see how these curls act. Now here's a section of my hair where my curls did not revert back as strong from when I straightened it. I'm not sure if you're able to tell, but I can because I know how my hair feels when I apply my products. And my curls are a lot thinner and looser. So this is where I'm hoping Olaplex will step in and work its magic. Now of course it's not going to work overnight, but with consistent use, I think it'll get there. Here's another example of my heat damage. Do you see how straight and limp my hair is? And this is after I apply the honey curl custard. Now it's going to curl up, but my curls are not as tight as they normally are. It's so frustrating y'all, but you know, setbacks are a part of life and I have to keep reminding myself and this too shall pass. It'll get better, it just takes time and patience. And here are my wet results. And to me, it already is starting to look better. What do y'all think? And here is my hair after sitting under my hooded dryer for an hour. And you can tell I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Now along with using Olaplex to nurse my hair back to health, I will also be using Jamaican black castor oil on my scalp because y'all know they say this stuff helps your hair grow. I'm also going to use it to seal in the moisture in my hair, especially on the ends. Although my hair is fine, it likes a heavier oil during the colder months. Now if you've ever had any doubt about Olaplex, let this be the proof. My curls are looking good, y'all. Now I'm not going to stretch it or fluff it out too much because I want this style to last throughout the work week and I need to keep my fingers out of my hair as much as possible to help prevent further breakage. So to summarize everything up, here is my treatment plan. Use Olaplex number zero and number three once per week. Shampoo and deep condition. Again, deep condition. Style hair for the week. Oil scalp three times per week and seal in moisture with Jamaican black castor oil. 
Now here are some of the things that are gonna really help my hair. Staying away from direct heat, like flat irons, blow dryers. Now a hooded dryer is not direct heat, so I will be using that to dry my hair after I style it. Keep my hands out of my hair as much as possible. Do scalp massages every night for five to 10 minutes and wear a satin bonnet and sleep on a satin pillowcase. So that's the plan. Now it may change over time, but for now, this is it. I'll continue to do hair videos so you can see my progress. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please click that like button. And if you like videos like this and you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Join my little YOLO family. It's growing, y'all. Help me get to 5K. That was my goal for last year, to get to 5K. I didn't make it, but that's okay. I know I'm gonna make it this year. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss another one of my uploads. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, bye.